Hi, it's Adam with webstarts.com. If it's your first time tuning in, be sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to be the first to find out when I create a new video on how to create a website, online store, blog, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and a lot more. In this video, I'll be giving you the basic idea of what WebStarts is, how it works, and the way that we've structured the application. WebStarts is everything you need to create your very own free website, online store, or blog. It doesn't require you to know how to code because everything is drag and drop. That means that you can just drag page elements where you'd like them to appear, and that's where they'll be displayed. It's all hosted in the cloud, so there's no software to install on your computer, and you don't have to upload and download files in order to keep your website updated. All you need to do is go to webstarts.com and then log in to your account, and from there, you can make those edits and changes. A few other things to keep in mind about WebStarts is that there's no hosting that you need to go out and get. The hosting is included with Web Starts and it also includes a web address for your website. You can connect any domain name that you would like with a Web Starts website, whether you've registered it with Web Starts or at another company. When you do choose to register your domain name with Web Starts, it automatically is configured to work with your website. That saves you several complicated steps when compared to other website builder solutions. The big picture of Web Starts is to allow you to be able to create an interactive website like the ones you see and already like online. For example, the ones that are used by Fortune 500 companies, but to eliminate the need for you to have an in-house developer pay top dollar to have a web designer design a website for you, and then also give you the ability to create and maintain the website yourself so that as you're gathering feedback from the people who visit your website and do business with you, you can make the edits and changes that you need in order to compete in the marketplace. So it's a pretty lofty goal to empower everybody to be able to create the types of websites that they see that people spend millions of dollars on and allow them to do that themselves in a fraction of the time for a fraction of the price. So we've come up with a mantra and that's Web Starts is powerful enough for professionals but easy enough for everyone. And in order to live up to that, what we've done is we've created a structure. And in this video, I'm going to explain that structure and philosophy so that you can better understand how to take advantage of Web Starts and the tools that we provide. Okay, at the top of the Web Starts structure is your Web Starts account. So the idea here is that you sign up using your email address and create an account with Web Starts. That account is protected by your password, which you can use to log in. And then inside of that account, you will manage one or more websites. So you can have one Web Starts account with multiple websites within that account. And then the next thing is that each website can then have an unlimited number of pages. So you have pages that belong to a website. You have websites that belong to a Web Starts account. Drilling down further than pages, we have what are called elements. Each page is made up of text and images and buttons and dividers and other things. And we call all of those things that go into your pages elements. So now you have elements that belong to a page, a page, that belongs to a website and websites that belong to a Web Starts account. Elements in Web Starts consist of two attributes, properties and styles. A property would be the content or behavior of a particular element, whereas the style would have to do with the appearance. So let's say that you added a button to a page and that button has text on it that would be considered a property, yet the color of the button would be considered a style. Let's review. Properties and styles are attributes that belong to elements. Elements belong to web pages, and web pages belong to websites. 
websites belong to your web starts account let's take a look at the web starts structure in action i go to webstarts.com i click login and then i log in to an existing account and this account has multiple websites within it so here you can see all of the different websites that i'm managing in a single account when i want to edit a specific website i click select website and that launches the dashboard view below the dashboard you'll find your pages by hovering over the thumbnail to the website and clicking edit site this loads up the page editor and that's where you can edit the pages of your website which you can find through the drop down in the top left selecting a different page i can just go to that page and then click on any one of the elements that appears on that page those can be drag and dropped you they can be added and removed if I want to change the attributes, for example, the properties or content, I can double click on it, or I can click to select it and then click the settings cog, or I can change the style by clicking on the style brush. Whenever you're ready to publish the changes to your website or save them, all you need to do is click on save. They're automatically saved and published to your live website, which you can view by clicking on view site. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about how Web Starts works and how to create your very own website using Web Starts. But if you still have questions, send them to support at webstarts.com or leave them in the comments section below. And once again, if it's your first time here, I want to invite you to tap the subscribe button and enable notifications. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on how to create a website, online store, search engine marketing, and a lot more. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.